this 3ds max tips and tricks video i would like to advise you to change the default orbit tool uh, in 3ds max so the default orbit can be uh can be found in the in the lower right corner um and i don't like the way how it behaves by default so by default it's set to um orbit sub object so uh when activating the tool uh, with the left click, you do get the, the uh, yellow circle, and it's uh, it's basically uh, orbiting around scene origin. If you don't have any kind of selection, if you do have a selection and you activate orbit, you are literally orbiting around the selection. And if you are in a sub-object, you are literally orbiting around the sub-object. So if I convert my teapot into an e-poly, and if I activate a polygon, and uh, now I am in sub-object, so when I orbit now, I'm orbiting exactly around the sub-object. Okay. So what I don't like about the um, the default uh, uh, orbit is that you're not able to define the point of interest. Um, although it is available, it's not set by default. So uh, a best practice in Max, the first thing you do when you start using max uh, is change the default behavior of the of the orbit so when you hold down the left mouse button on the orbit sub object uh, a flyout will be opened and the first icon so the isometric circle with the uh, the green uh, dot in the center this is well my preferred uh, orbit uh, so i'm gonna activate it I uh, still the yellow circle, but uh, when I left click on any kind of point, uh, geometry based point, that is going to be the exact point of interest. So you do get a much better control on the orbit. If you are using your Alt key and the uh, and the middle mouse button, it's exactly it's exactly the same uh, how it uh, how it will how it will operate. It's it stays like this, so it's just a, a, a one-time setup. Max will remember your preferred uh, choice of orbiting around in the in the scene.